What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. I ended up taking like an extended break kind of from YouTube for the past week and a half, two weeks, uh, between the hurricane and then having to fly up north for some family stuff. Uh, but I'm back, I'm back in Florida. Ended up bringing a cold back with me, so bear with me throughout this video if I'm a little sniffly, but while I was gone, I had a bunch of stuff show up for the Supra, and while I was up north hanging out with the boys and hanging out with all the hometown friends, watching them do shit to their cars and everything, it just gave me this motivation to want to work on the Supra just really, really badly, and a bunch of stuff showed up. Uh, in the process of me being gone. So my end goal with that car was to finish it hopefully, you know, before the new year. I'd like to think that that's still a realistic goal, but I'm gonna have to be busting ass to be able to do it. So let's take the stuff over to the shop and get going. Fucking remnants of a hurricane. Just big ass fish just everywhere. On a positive note, there's really no more water in here, which is good. The, uh, the front gate is still pretty flooded, so I can't quite leave yet in my vehicles but maybe soon I wanted to take a brief second out of this video to talk to you guys about the newest little product that I have on the site now you guys know that I like making unique interesting products to put on my site and this is nothing short of that and this is the newest thing the divine interactive sticker now not only is this a cool looking sticker but it actually has a function it has a special chip inside of it that lets you promote whatever link you set this sticker to and it's a cool new style way of trying to promote yourself i see a lot of guys out there that have instagram stickers on the sides of their cars at car shows and things and instead of doing that you could do something like this at a car show and it would send them straight to your instagram not only that you could put your facebook you could put your youtube channel you could put your own personal website your business anything, you could set it to this sticker and uh, promote it. Each one of these stickers is default set to my website, which I will show here. So you see that little tap and it will take you, there you go. But you can obviously change the uh, link on the sticker to whatever you want. On the back of the packaging, there's three QR codes. Two of the QR codes are download links to uh, the free app that lets you change the link. And then the third QR code is actually a YouTube tutorial video on how to uh, set the link yourself. I think it's kind of a cool item. I don't see anyone really doing something like this. And uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think of them. They are live on my site as you're watching this video. So if you're interested, be sure to hop into the description and click the link and check them out. Pick one up if you want to try them. I think they're pretty freaking cool. And I hope you guys do too. And back to the video. So I just got to the shop and uh, realized that we have no power here. It's not gonna stop me though. Um, I'm gonna go through a bunch of stuff that I got for this thing while I was gone. I have some really, really cool bits and I think I kind of want to get kind of the front end put back on a little bit on this thing. I know I have an intercooler for this car. I know I have a lot of piping. So I don't know. It'd be cool to further progress other parts of the... <laughs> It'd be cool to like further progress other parts of the car. I'll try my best with no power, but I got both bay doors open, hoping that it gives me enough light for now. Meanwhile, the Del Sol's just become a home for all the little glizzies out here. All the fucking glizzy, <laughs> glizzy transporter. <laughs> First cool little thing that I have for the engine setup for this car. My boy Petrie, my boy Steven, back up north, shout out SP Tuning, sent me some titanium hardware. Uh, some specialty hardware for the intake manifold. Right now the intake manifold is held on with just a couple bolts. So I'm gonna pop these bolts out, get the right hardware put in and uh, do that. I also have some gasket stuff that I have to do under the intake manifold so it'll be easier when I take that off. the intake manifold on with the new studs I do have another box of parts this box of parts is from my guy Brent over in Sarasota County he has been the Toyota Lexus OEM parts plug for this build and he's been sourcing me all these OEM pieces and uh, I couldn't put my oil uh, filter housing on because I did not have a new o-ring but he was able to send me a new o-ring along with a bunch of other stuff including a turbo 2JZ GTE power steering reservoir because as you guys know the last time that I went to go put this thing together uh, the NA reservoir was hitting the manifold so 
I can relocate the power steering onto somewhere else in the engine bay, be able to put the manifold on, no hitting, everything's good to go. But I'm gonna take this oil filter O-ring out and uh, get the housing put in so that that can be checked off the list and we'll be good to go there and then I can put the intake manifold back on. Next up on the list is a new cam position sensor, also from Brent. And uh, yeah, these are a little pricey, hard to find in at least good shape, but able to get a brand new one. Stoked on that. Gonna pop that in. That goes into right there, and that'll be good. Last but not least from Brent is a brand new VVTi solenoid, which is Perfect. So, gonna slap this guy in, slap a little nut, that goes right in there in that little hole. We'll be good to go there, put the manifold back on, Gucci. And here comes the rain. It's all right, now we just got some mood lighting. Nope, nope, hey, I needed to talk and now you're being too loud. Can you not do that, please? This next item is a new one and it's actually from Garrett. It's a new line of product that they're releasing. Their very own line of wastegates. Do a little unboxing real quick. Nice little assembly guide, QR code. All right, you ready for this? Ooh, baby. Garrett's new wastegate. This thing is a beast. A whole lot of moisture out here. A whole lot of moisture. Lots of moisture. <laughs> cool, dude. You're doing Garrett things too. Me too. Let's doing go, all man. the Garrett stuff. Yeah, so, like, as you guys know, you guys can pick these Garrett wastegates up over at Drift HQ. Yeah, Shout no, we're at Drift HQ, Drift sure. HQ. Big LZ guy now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this thing is a unit and uh, I'm very, very excited to see how it does in the uh, 2J. So let's uh, slap this thing in. Skate looks so good in here and it's lined up clocked perfectly with the turbo these new Garrett wastegates are CFD tested for maximum flow and thermal efficiency they have optimized stability and temperature resistance so they're super durable the valves and bushings that are in these are actually replaceable so you can have more life out of this thing they have a new strong robust design for diaphragm replacement and you can actually add coolant ports to this for you know higher horsepower applications to keep this thing cool right now they come in three different sizes 40 45 and 50 mil I have the 45 mil and this guy is just badass i'm very very stoked on this once again you can actually get these through drift hq and i imagine that they're going to be a pretty hot item in the next coming months all right i'm waiting on some hardware for the rest of the cooling kind of hard lines and pipes all these guys that are down in here you know thermostat pieces and the rest of the uh, OEM cooling stuff, but I do have some more packages that I want to go through, mainly this one right here. Brand new coil rad radiator for the Supra. I was going to try and get like a brand new OEM one, but because we're trying to make a lot more power with this car, it makes sense to get an upgraded radiator for it. So, you know I had to go with the coil. We're gonna unbox this thing and uh, get it set up in the car. And then after that, I also was able to track down some brand new Supra upper and lower radiator hoses. So pulling out all the stops on this build, you guys know that. I've just been extremely meticulous with this whole setup and just taking my time with it. But as more time goes on, the more eager I get to see this thing finished. So trying to just wrap it up, trying to get this thing going. So bear with me, but it's gonna be all worth it in the end. 
Now I also got this radiator from Drift HQ. Shout out. Ooh. This thing is good. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yes, sir. I did notice a couple of the little fins on the back side of this radiator are a little bent. You can actually fix them. Uh, the best tool would be a set of tweezers, but I'm going to use a flathead. You can get in between each little corner, and if you kind of open it back up and stretch it, uh, it'll reform them and make them look good as new. So I'm going to give that a little attempt and uh, see if I can make this thing perfect, perfect, and then we can set it in the car. All right, not terrible. A couple that couldn't really get fixed, but that's okay. It's going to be covered by a shroud anyway, and it'll still do the job. I'm a silly boy. I forgot the gaskets on the bottom. These boys. Okay, round two. That is beautiful. Money, 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 money. While the radiator brackets are drying, getting a fresh little coat of steel it on them. Might as well open up the new radiator hoses. Just a little reminder for those that are watching that are very experienced with Jay-Z's. I am not. So if there's anything that I'm missing throughout this video that you catch that you think I should know, feel free to let me know because you guys have let me know a couple things in the past that have been important and have been very helpful and I am always reading comments and looking at feedback because it's always appreciated. So far I think I'm doing pretty good but I always like to check. So nice. Brand new baby. nice is the actual fan shroud is in really good shape so this should line up with the uh, coil holes the holes in the coil so I am gonna be using a clutch fan for this setup so I'm gonna make sure that this fits on the radiator and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the clutch fan and all that stuff put back on and then put this on well I had put the shroud in and the shroud was extremely close to the valve cover so I'm wondering if my shroud won't work because of it being NA um, so I'm curious to know if I need a, like a turbo shroud, if the turbo shrouds are different. Uh, I also noticed that the radiator hoses that I got are also extremely close to the engine and they're actually kinking. So I might have to cut them down, trim them down a little bit. Not the end of the world, but I want to make sure that uh, there's no difference between NA and turbo shrouds before I start cutting up the hoses and all that stuff. It's also starting to get kind of dark in here uh daylight is leaving and nighttime is coming and can't really see what i'm working on that much in terms of the rest of the stuff that i can do with this car right now it would take another two three hours and it would just be dark by then so i need to get to the hardware store and get a bunch of hardware for the rest of the cooling system which i can't do yet because i can't leave because we're still flooded and our shop has no power so it's it's just one thing after another um trying my best i know we didn't get a ton of stuff done in this video uh, with the supra but at this point i think any video that i make with the supra is really just kind of just therapeutic and satisfying more so like just getting a shit ton of stuff done because every time i make a video it's like a little part here a little part there nice fresh oem zinc bolts taking my time feels really good I definitely do need to make some very solid progress very soon though so hopefully the power comes on soon and I can just spend a bunch of late nights in here and just get a bunch of stuff done but I'm pumped as hell on the Garrett wastegate I'm pumped as hell on the radiator intake manifold is hard mounted shouldn't have to come off again oil filter housing is on I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes but 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said in the beginning, if you're interested in those interactive stickers, they are a ton of fun and uh, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy them though. Boop. Look, there, 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 there I be, there I am. But yeah. Links in the description for interactive stickers. Thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon in the next one.